All right, this is going to be a walkthrough of the bathhouse, a dwarf fortress project in this fortress, Relieved Canyons. It's a project that put a lot of design work into and was inspired by a trip I took to Japan to checking out the onsens there. And uh, took about four in-game years to complete, I think. And I think this is about the ninth in-game year. So yeah, <clears throat> let's go. I'll start with the river. So here's the river on the surface here. Um, and you can kind of see the, the kind of, whoops, sorry, general layout of the area. Um, and so one layer below, you can see I tapped the river in two places and I'll, I'll get into the pumping system. But yeah, that's where the water comes from. So let's walk to the bathhouse. So here's the entrance, the entrance to the fortress. Um, then we're going to go one floor below, and then we're going to go to the right, across this hallway. And then you can see here the staircase. We're going to go down the staircase and into the bathhouse. <clears throat> so when you first walk in, we've got uh, golden doors for the changing rooms, some um, chairs and bags, and uh, armor piles that have tunics and robes sandals and trousers so you know switch into your robe for the bathhouse there's a glass bridge and glass grates with waterfall on each side and then the water runs underneath the bridge also so I'm gonna pre cool entryway and it should be generating mist as the water falls down to fill to fill up the bridge and then as soon as you cross the bridge there's showers so each shower is like a grate it's just a constant flow of water from the ceiling down through the grate um, it doesn't like turn off or on or anything like that and there's a bar of soap a chair and a bucket next to each shower and there's 16 showers so these are the showers and then you walk in from the showers and then here's the entrance to the main bathhouse area so smooth everything's smooth and then a lot of it's also engraved especially the walls and uh, we've got a marble fountain so marble tiling on the outside um, there's also these gold pillars um, here and then this this area is three stories tall before it hits the ceiling a pretty high ceiling and the way the fountain gets filled is that there's water coming from the ceiling and it hits this glass pillar and flows down the glass pillar on the top bottom left and right sides yeah as you can see all the way down into the fountain itself so here's the fountain and then there's four statues these are fish statues so we have a steelhead trout, a marble char, a marble perch, and a marble salmon statue. And yeah, the way that it drains, so it fills from the ceiling and then there's pressure plates. Where's the plates? I think they're in here somewhere. Yeah, there's a pressure plate. So the pressure plates keep the water pressure, I think, between three and four, or the water level between three and four. And then when it gets higher than that, these, uh, drains open up and drain it and when it's lower than that they close up so all the draining works like that with with pressure plate excuse me with pressure plates and then after the marble fountain there's the wooden oh, what happened to the cursor okay there we go there's the wooden hot tubs so we got these two wooden hot tubs here um and there's little wooden buckets on the side too um, i wish they would use them to actually you know shower themselves or bathe themselves but they just kind of for aesthetics right now <laughs> so drainage is the same but the way that the wooden hot tubs get filled is actually from these silver hot tubs on the second floor so when these silver hot tubs get full they these little grates on the left here open up and then drain down to the wooden ones um and i think there's other drainage yeah there's also other drainage in case it gets um, overfilled or in case draining to the wooden hot tubs isn't fast enough 
but generally they just open into the wooden wooden hot tubs here so that's how the wooden hot tubs get filled so it's kind of like a water flow from the pool at the top floor into these hot tubs on the second floor into these hot tubs on the bottom floor so second floor so, so you got this big staircase here second floor is silver so silver hot tubs lined with silver blocks um, and then they have glass statues in the middle so the glass statues there's a statue of a moon and on the other one there's a statue of a sun so there's a sun statue and a moon statue on these uh, hot tubs on these silver hot tubs on the second floor and then on the top floor the top floor is um, two stories tall so there's a pool here it's lined with gold tiles and it has rose gold pillars uh, in it and so it the water level is allowed to get a little higher in the pool to the like five and six level level occasionally and on the very top floor um, near the ceiling of the pool is these glass pipes and the glass pipes are what fill the pool up so the water makes this waterfall from these pipes into the pool and then when the pool is full it fills up the second floor hot tubs and then when they're full they fill up the first floor hot tubs and they all drain down and so these pipes <clears throat> so this is how the water gets in I can um, I'll cover that so this was a lot of work, so I dug all these pipes out and put construction in them. So these are all constructed blocks and not just dug out and smoothed. So all rock, um, constructed rock, rock floors, rock walls, etc. So there's two main pipes. There's the pipe that fills up the, to the pool and the tubs. And then there's a, uh, and that same pipe, so this one on the right, it fills up the pool and the tubs and it pumps the water to the fountain. So that covers like the main room, main area. And then the one on the left here, the one on the left covers um, or fills up the showers. So it pumps the water that keeps the showers running and the waterfall around the bridge, the entryway bridge. This is the two main water pipes. Um, and so the water pipes have water pumps. So there's four pumps on this level and then four, sorry, four pumps below them. And then those pumps get water from the river, from those where I tapped the river earlier. So here's the floodgates, they're up right now, and then the grates, and then the water comes in. And the pumps, so the water from the river, I'll unpause, the water from the river powers the wheels, these water wheels, which then powers the pumps. You can kind of see where the pumps are, are working because the water level just dips. And that's pretty much it. Um, I guess I should show the drainage. So the drainage was kind of the hardest part. I originally just had like a small pipe, like three wide, but that didn't work. It wasn't draining fast enough. So I made it wider, still wasn't draining fast enough. So actually this is not what drains it. Even this massive pipe here, it doesn't really drain. Um, and you can see all the things I tried. This used to be a lot more uh, coherent, but now it's just like a mess. But what I ended up doing was just pumping the water out. So if you're pumping the water in, then just letting it drain um, like naturally isn't fast enough. I need to also pump it out. So that's what this water, these water wheels power these pumps, which then pump the water out so that it drains properly, drains fast enough. Um, and I think in the future, what I would do is with a couple more layers of pumps here, I could pump the water back. Uh, I could recycle the water here, but uh, currently I don't have the capacity to do that. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I've designated some meeting areas, the showers and bathhouse in general, so that the doors will come and hang out and the animals tend to roam a little bit more freely so there <laughs> you can see them walking around but yeah the when i was digging this <clears throat> of course i had to start from the very top floor so i dug the very very top floor first 
and then this whole floor, and then this whole floor, and then this whole floor last. It wasn't free of cave-ins. I had a couple of cave-ins, especially when I got lower down. And in this big area here, where, I'm, where I made the fountain and the wooden tubs, I had a couple of cave-ins I had to deal with. Nothing major. And yeah, it was a pretty ambitious project for me. The most ambitious project I had undertaken. I'd never worked with power um, or water wheels before. I hadn't really worked with pumps that much before. Um, so yeah, there's kind of a lot. And I definitely had not worked with pressure plates before, so kind of designed it all. And it went mostly according to plan. Um, the water flow was kind of the trickiest part, making sure I had enough water pumping and then draining it properly. But the pressure plates, which I was worried about, actually were worked out perfectly. Um, once the water level hits a certain amount, you know, then these gates, these grates actually open up. I think there's floor, there's hatches here. Yes, yeah, so there's floor hatches here. But not the grates, my bad, the floor hatches. So when this is full, the floor hatches open. And then when the water level dips, they close again. So, yeah. And then there's, you know, there's also overflow drainage as well. So not just the floor ha the floor hatches to the tubs, but there's other floor hatches for draining too. I think these are manual. I don't think they're hooked, these are hooked up to the pressure plates. These are for emergency flooding. I can open up the those floor hatches. Yeah, see there's no water flowing through them right now. Yeah, those are manual, manual drains. And then I have the automatic drains. And that is the bathhouse in the Relieved Canyons Fortress.